time to do with rich chocolate decadent Valentine desserts all month long. It's time to lighten things up just a little bit with a fresh, low-fat berry dessert made from scratch. Becky Lowe says her raspberry cream roll is easy to make. You're going to have to sell me here, though, because we're talking about a cake from scratch, which seems like a lot of work these days. Oh, you know, we have kind of moved away from scratch cakes, but it is easy. And so let me just show you the tips. Now, okay. first off, we're making a sponge cake for this one because um, it will eliminate the fat and it becomes a very nice low-fat base to what we're doing. Um, so to begin with, I have some eggs that are beaten up right here and all okay. we did was just take some eggs we beat those until they were nice and light and creamy and I separated the whites out first okay and all you do is just beat it's beat okay. <laughs> you can do beating <laughs> most people can handle that it's like therapy in the kitchen right <laughs> okay and then we're adding some milk and some sugar to it as well okay, okay now at that point um, what I have is the flour and cornstarch and some baking powder and salt okay and you put that into the eggs and in the meantime um, if I was doing oh, this, this by myself the eggs? yep okay yep dump all whole thing into the eggs there. And we're going to put the rest of that in as well. Yep, go Hold ahead on. and put the whole thing in. And we'll just shake the last of that in. And um, then stir that up. Kay. Now this is a little key with the uh, sponge cake is you don't want to overbeat it. So just beat it until it's smooth. Stir it until it's smooth. Okay. Okay, and in the meantime, if I'm doing this at home, I would have this already um, ready to go and so I would start beating my eggs until they're um, nice and stiff and ready to go and then we're going to fold those two ingredients together and put them into a 10 by 15 baking sheet. Okay. Okay now we could do that just a little bit more but let's uh, let's go ahead and just fold those in now. You don't want to overbeat Becky. You don't want to overbeat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right take that out and we'll just simply fold those in together and put those into... I love the um, look of egg white. It's always like clouds, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. In fact, this really does make it nice and light and airy. And folding again, just a reminder, is that you're lifting and folding it over at the same time. Okay, then, um, if you want to do that, yeah. I'll talk about this. Okay, it's a 10 by 15 uh, jelly roll pan that I'm using, so it's going to be a thin cake, and you can either uh, butter and flour it really well, mm -hmm. or put some wax paper on it, or I just like the parchment paper. Okay, then we'll put our cake onto here and we'll bake it. It's only for about 12 minutes, so it really does bake fast oh, when it's this, uh, this fast. Okay. Okay, we're gonna set this off to the side. You can see how that's folding nicely. Okay. Very good. Okay, and let's go on to this next step right here. Okay, we know that that's going to end up in our pan. Right. Okay, once it is baked, we will take just a simple clean dish towel. And is I this like the trick these old to rolling it. Yes. Okay. And I like these old flour sack type dish towels to use this with. You know, we'll open them up, we'll sprinkle it generously with some powdered sugar, and then we'll turn our cake out on top of the um, there it is. Oh, look and at that. And because we roll it while it's still warm, then it makes that round shape. Okay. okay now at this point this is the this is the delicious part. This you know, is the, where the goods come yeah. into play, right? And you know, because this is a thin cake, you really don't have to worry too much about it. It is thin. It I was surprised how thin it was. It went almost yeah. thinner than a bread slice. Uh, yeah, yeah. It sometimes will get just a little bit higher. Now, a trick with this one, though, is you want to do this while it's still warm. Don't let it cool. If you let it cool too much, then you end up cracking. You can see some cracks starting to form, and then it uh, leaks out. Oh, <laughs> we don't want that. But, you know, if it leaks out, it's okay, because it still tastes <laughs> good. All right. Okay, I'm going to do this part, and then you can do the cream part. Okay. And the cream part, well, first off, this part, and I'll start putting it on, is just simply raspberry jam. And I stirred it so that it's smooth to begin with. This is where all and of your canning really comes in. into Star Center if you have that, if you can use right. the fresh stuff. Now also notice that I'm only putting it uh, down part way because it does end up squishing out as mm -hmm. we're going. Okay, now what you have in front of you is the cream cheese with a little bit of powdered sugar, okay. a little bit of vanilla, and also uh, some cream. We're just cream to that right it on up. there. Uh -huh. Spreading it out. Yep. Okay. Same thing again, and you don't want to spread it quite to the edges because it will end up gushing. And I like to put it more in the center of the curve okay. rather I'll than like clear out here at the one. end. Uh huh. Great. And so far, the eggs are the only thing that's that's uh, fat in here. We have added some cream to lighten this up. Um, but we're using a fat-free cream cheese with it. And again, you're doing this about 30 minutes after it bakes. And then what we'll do is we'll use our towel mm -hmm. to roll that back up again, this time without the towel. Okay. 
and keep rolling and we'll dust that with some Where it's already been in that shape, sugar. it kind of falls into yep, that natural formation. You can see formation. that it's starting yeah. to squish out. And then at this point, I take the whole towel and wrap it right into the towel. Refrigerate that for three to four hours or overnight, and then it slices up like this one. It's so beautiful when you see the inside center. I love how you presented it with the fresh raspberries, a little dusting of powdered sugar. Could you add chocolate to this? You could. You know I know we we're going low fat, but I have to ask. <laughs> you know, we try to make it a little bit lower fat because of the chocolate this month, but two things, you could put it inside of that roll, okay. or you could drizzle it over the top. Oh. You know, it would be perfect so for us. Great. Yeah, <laughs> we like chocolate. We agree on that point. Becky, thank you so much. You a delicious bet. recipe. And you can find the recipe, but on, of course, on our website, studio5.ksl.com. Just click on the green recipe button.